but uh, I learned the hard way. Um, the 650, <laughs> the 650 uh, silver flash wasn't, um, well, gold flash, I should say. It wasn't an easy bike to ride. It also was a shit to, to um, kickstart. And it managed to lift me up, throw me over the, um, the handlebars, and drop me right onto the number plate holder. And that cut straight into my back and kidneys. Uh, so that was a shit of an evening. And I couldn't have, um, I couldn't get away with not telling my grandfather what I'd done, even though I was not supposed to be riding the bike at the time. Um, my grandmother went absolutely ape at him. I was grounded and told I'm not riding motorbikes again. But my grandfather was good and um, he got me back onto bikes. Because he said, if I didn't, I'd be scared of them. And that's the one thing I would say to you guys. Never be afraid of a K1600. It does things in the way that no one else can. And it will, once you get used to it. Let's put the, let's put the visor up. It will, when you get used to it. Um, you, you can feel everything about it. You can feel the nuances. You can feel what it's like to do certain things. Now, I saw Andreas, my um, mechanic guru, at Peel Meyer BMW in uh, Lenting. So a big shout out to them. If you want anything BMW in Bavaria, forget everybody else, just go to Peel Meyer. Um, and said, I think Sam is not running 100%. I said, I can feel through my fingertips that something's not 100% right. And what he explained to me was, because Sam is now five years old and has been used extensively, um, and I do use her every day, that her bearings in the crank are not what they were. Now, the only way to do it is to have the engine blueprinted, which I am going to consider, to be honest. Because I think that it would be a damn good um, idea. Have Sam properly blueprinted, get all of the... Um, Uh, stats on the bike done properly and then make certain that Sam her tolerances are 100% so reduce the tolerances get it properly blueprinted and uh, have the engine made better that way and I think that's going to be a damn good investment of my time and money so that's the uh, the thing I'm going to be doing. But not just yet. Um, I'm going to do it when she gets to... about um, 100,000 miles. Because then the, the, uh, the bearings in the crank should... I mean, I'll still be good at 100,000, um, but it will give me the opportunity to, to do the engine properly. Now, when I do do that, I'm also going to um, chop in the BMW uh, exhaust and I'm going to put the um, Akrapovich carbon titanium exhausts in 
and that'll be fun as well so that's going to be um, a little bit of a, an enhancement I'm going to have to start thinking as well about um, getting completely ULES compliant I mean she is at the moment but once they start tightening up the uh, legislation and everything else then it's all about making certain that Sam's um, going to be uh, fully compliant and 100% of the time because strangely enough I have no intentions of replacing Sam ever I'm 61 this year and Sam will be my last big bike she'll be with me always Anyway, that's what I've got planned for the future. So, lots of touring left on Sam. When the engine's blueprinted, um, I'm also going to have the uh, bodywork cases and everything uh, rubbed and uh, made new so fully resprayed and returned Sam back to her former self because for me she's not just a bike she was an investment that I made and decided was going to be a big investment for me and I didn't want to um, just buy any bike, I wanted a particular bike and Sam was the one I wanted. Now I am thinking of buying the second K1000, uh, K1600 and what I'm going to thinking about is I know there's um, maybe a crashed one where the engine is still good and then what I'm going to do I'm going to make a naked version of it K1600 Street Fighter man I mean, wouldn't that be friggin awesome didn't want to go that way thank him for letting me in didn't give him much of a choice to be honest I just went
guys we're in traffic so I'm gonna leave you guys here and thank you for watching if you like it big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button catch you later ride hard and safe